Hey guys, this video is specifically for Dad and Lore Forever, uh, but it applies to anybody. And I just want to know why is everybody so afraid of choice? Of choice. I made a video on here uh, promoting an idea that would give parents the choice of where their kids go to school, and everybody's up in arms about it. They want to talk about. Uh, you know, are private schools better? Are public schools better? And the fact of the matter is, it doesn't matter. I'm advocating a a proposal that would give parents choice. I'm not for eliminating public schools. I want public schools to still exist. And if you still want to send your child to that crappy public school, then you send them there. And guess what? If I don't want to, then I wouldn't be forced to, like I am now. Do you want to operate under a system of voluntary co cooperation, or do you want to operate under a system of go government coercion? Coercion. Which is it? I want choice. Data. I want choice. You can still send your kids to the public schools. They will still exist. Quit accusing me uh, of wanting to eliminate one or the other. I've never argued on here for anything but choice. Now, everybody wants to say, well, you still have the choice to send your kid to a private school. Well, that would be like uh, you taking $5,000 from me, buying me a 2004 Taurus and saying, hey, your money's going to go towards this Taurus and we're going to offer it to you. It's going to be sitting right over here on the lot. You come pick it up anywhere you, anytime you want to. Use it for your transportation. But if you don't think that's uh, the car you want or it turns out to be crappy, you can still go buy you uh, a Chevrolet. You have the total bliss and freedom to go buy you a Chevrolet. Well, guess what? I'm gonna be gonna uh, kind of be hamstrung there on the Chevrolet. If you've already taken my money at the point of a gun and at the threat of a jail time to buy me that Ford Taurus. Now, Daddy, you sent me all this information uh, saying how the private schools narrowly uh, outscored the public schools. Uh, to the point to where it was a statistical um, dead heat and the Lutheran schools and, and the other types of private schools um, barely showed any improvement over the uh, public schools at all. I'm well aware of, of that study uh, conducted by the National Association of Education, something such that uh, another government agency. I really do not think they're going to have any incentive uh, they're going to have a strong incentive, rather, to uh, to make sure their their data doesn't uh, reflect reflect negatively on the public system. After all, when have we ever known one bureaucrat to promote, uh, you know, another bureaucrat losing their job? What I'm advocating for is choice, and I recommend you look up J. P. Green from the Manhattan Institute. Uh, and other uh, research that's been done on these choice programs, and the results have been overwhelmingly positive. But let's take it from your point of view. But I want to argue on your terms. These Catholic schools barely show any improvement over public schools. These Lutheran schools and other types of private schools are in a dead heat with these uh, public schools. Who cares? Who are you? You know, some people say a Ford is a better truck. Some people say a Chevrolet is a better truck. Some people say that it's they're about the same. Are you going to eliminate one or the other off of the market and say it can't exist? Or you say people, are you going to tie up people's money and force them into a Ford or a Chevrolet just because somebody says, one may be slightly better or the other. I don't like to prove that the option I want is somehow better. I don't. I'm sorry. Who are these people? Who are these people? And specifically, Data, who are you? Who are you? To make choices over how I educate my son. That's my business. That's my business. You know, are you some kind of deity that you know what is best for for third parties? You somehow think that I'm not intric intricately uh, involved enough in my life 
that I wouldn't know what's best for myself and my son? Simply because some people mess up, some people make bad decisions for their child, well, guess what? That doesn't get fixed if we have this government system that you want to force in everybody into. People still make terrible decisions. You say, oh, we're getting all these uncertified teachers. Guess what? I had a plumber do me a plumbing job for $75 that was an uncertified plumber that would have cost me uh, $200 from a certified plumber. And I've yet to have any problems with that plumbing work. That's my choice. I can make that decision for myself. You can put me a certified teacher, an uncertified teacher, or a certified plumber, and an uncertified plumber in front of me, and I can look at their qualifications. I can talk to them. I can try to get information from them. I can look at past results, certainly in the case of schools, and I can make that decision. I can make that decision. You talk to the parents of the children living on the south side of Chicago, and let me know what... Uh, how their government guarantee is working out for the education of their children. Talk to the parents of the children that are going to school in the Bronx. Let me know how those certified teachers are doing with those children. And L.A., out in Watts. Even here in my own hometown, I have a school that is full of certified teachers that's been rated academically unacceptable by the state of Texas. How's my guarantee working out? A certification guarantees nothing. Certification guarantees nothing. In fact, lots of times uncertified teachers and providers of other services wind up doing a better job than the certified ones. And I'm going to check the time on my video here. I still have some time. So my point is, butt out of everybody's business. I'm promoting a, a, a proposal that will allow for choice. That will allow for choice. Your public schools will still exist. Your private schools will exist, and parents will have the opportunity to make the decisions for their child. If you have a parent that has neglected their child, well, I mean, the truancy laws themselves, data, the truancy laws will keep, will keep somebody in school. And you're talking about a person, you have to be making this stuff up, but even if you're not, person that taught their child Klingon, this has got to be one in a million. And you want to put government schooling and eliminate choice for everybody based on this one guy? Come on. Who do the socialists think there are? They're always so arrogant that they think they know what's best for third parties. When they have nothing, you have nothing to do with my life. You don't know what my hopes, my dreams, my ambitions, you know, my beliefs. My desires for my child, you don't know any of that, but somehow you know how I should educate my child. And it's a bunch of baloney. And you ought to realize that. 